We've recently added an automation to our instantly cold email campaigns, and they've resulted in a 25% increase in the number of booked appointments that we get from our cold outreach. And if you're wanting to generate more appointments from your cold outreach, then this video is for you because I'm gonna walk you through exactly what we've done and how you can create it in your own agency as well. Now, before we jump into the video, me and my team spend a lot of time creating this content and sharing it with you completely for free all we ask in return is that you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button to help the channel grow. So let's get into it. First off, what you're going to need is a Instantly account. You're going to need to head over to Instantly. And when you get there, you want to going to go to your settings and then over to integrations. What we've done here is we have connected Instantly to Slack and we've done it via Zapier. You don't need to do it via Zapier, but we do it via Zapier because we want to add in additional automations. So yes, you can connect your instantly to your Slack account. We connect it via Zapier and it will kind of become clear. The kind of big picture thinking behind this is all about speed of response. A Harvard business study shows that prospects are 400% more likely to take a meaningful action if you're able to communicate with them within the first five minutes of them taking an action. So what we want to do here is we want to make sure that when somebody responds positively to one of our cold emails, that we're able to communicate with them really quickly and to basically try and turn them from a positive response into an actual meeting on the calendar. So here's what we do. Let's take a look inside our Zapier account. And what you can see here is we have got a few steps inside this particular Zap. If you don't have Zapier, then it's something I would definitely recommend that you that you get and you invest in because you know, you want to be able to automate as many things in your agency as possible. So what we've got here is if I dig into, into this particular zap, under campaign, you want to leave it blank. Otherwise, it's only this zap is only going to work for one campaign. Uh, event type, what you're going to want to select is lead marked as interested. So Instantly has an AI tool that will mark leads depending on what level of interest they think that the prospect has. So it's either interested or not interested, and I think there's neutral as well. Now Instantly isn't, it isn't perfect at selecting whether something's interested or not interested. So you are going to want to go into Instantly and change these as well, and maybe mark a non-interested lead as interested if you think that they are interested. So this isn't foolproof, but it does definitely improve the performance of your emails. And even though it's not foolproof, it's still increase the number of appointments that we generate from cold email by 25% just by adding this in. I think it's actually 24%, but uh, you get the picture. So we want to um, lead marked as interested. And when we've got a lead that is marked as interested, what we want to do is we want to send a message inside Slack. And again, we don't need to do this. We can be monitoring instantly 24 seven, but human nature, we know that that's not going to happen. We know that we're not going to be constantly looking at our instantly inbox because there's kind of higher leverage, more, you know, better things to be doing with our time. So what we can do is we can make sure that Slack alerts us every time it happens. So then we can go into instantly and take the relevant action that we need to. That's why that we're actually creating an alert system as opposed to relying on our memory to go in and check instantly all the time. Hey, just real quick, sorry to interrupt the video, but I just wanted to let you know of our brand new free course that we have just launched that takes you through how to book more appointments on your sales calendar through cold email. The course is completely free, it comes with a free community as well where there's live calls where you can ask me anything, get your questions answered. The second 
link in the description is going to take you to the free course. As I say, completely free. And it's going to walk you through how to get success from your cold email campaigns. So I will leave it there and enjoy the rest of the video. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, connect instantly and we're going to send uh, Slack a message with the prospect's name, email address, website, and then, you know, what campaign that they have come from. Once that happens, a couple of things are going to happen and a couple of things that you should do. So first off is you're going to want to go and find that prospect inside your Instantly account and you're going to want to respond to them. Maybe they've already booked in a call, which is great. Maybe they've just replied saying, yeah, sounds good. Let's book in a time. And then there's kind of, you know, they haven't actually taken the action that you want them to, which is getting onto your sales calendar. So here's what we've done to actually increase the number of appointments that we get booked. Not only do we reply to these prospects via email, but we will actually give them a call straight away. So we will reply straight away via email, but at the same time, we're gonna give them a call and we're gonna get their um, details either when we originally downloaded that leads list and we've got their telephone number, or if you didn't get their telephone number, you can use a software like Apollo.io where you can put in the prospect's email address and then it will give you the other information that you require, i.e. their telephone number. If that doesn't work, or if you want to go down a slightly cheaper alternative, then you can just Google the business and get the telephone number from their website and give them a call and say, hey, John, I just received your um, email. I thought it might be easier instead of going backwards and forwards to give you a quick call to get a time and date on the diary that's kind of suitable for us both. And that's how you're gonna be able to get people to commit and they're going to probably ask you a couple of like questions on that call to make sure that it is a good fit and you can do the same as well you can ask them make sure that they kind of fit your your criteria that is a, a like an additional thing that it is not kind of baked into this this zap inside zapier um, it is requiring manual work but manual work is definitely necessary in order to be able to take somebody that is interested and turn them into a turn them into a sales call it's very high leverage work and then what we do as well is we add in a delay after that happens and we will add in a delay for seven days um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to then add them to our crm system and add them into our kind of newsletter campaign so the reason we wait seven days is they might be booked onto a call. They might There might be backwards and forwards emails going on. Do you need to wait seven days? Not necessarily, but we want to be able to keep the objective of the communication um, after they've become interested all about getting on a sales call as soon as possible, which is why we give it a seven day leeway. And then if they, well, regardless of whether they got on a sales call or not, they go into that newsletter campaign and then only if they become a client or they unsubscribe, do they come out of that newsletter campaign? So just to go over it once more, when we get a new interested lead or prospect inside instantly, we automatically, that gets sent to Slack. So it alerts us straight away as opposed to us having to wait and watch instantly inbox. Um, and then we'll do a couple of things. We'll go into instantly. We will reply to that prospect and trying to get them onto a call. We will also then pick up the phone and call the prospect, trying to get hold of them. If they don't pick up, we'll also drop them an SMS and just say, you know, tried to call, I've emailed you, you can reply via email, you can give me a call back. Just try and create some personalization, make sure that they understand that there's a real human being that they're gonna be speaking to, and it's gonna increase your show rates even further. So once we have reached out to them, we're then going to automatically, again through Zapier, add them to our CRM system to be able to follow up with these people long term. Because there's a, a kind of a thing that people miss out is that they only send emails to people that have either got onto their sales calendar originally, or maybe they've you know, become a lead through a paid ad or something like that. But there's lots of prospects that sit inside our cold email campaigns that we don't do enough with. So this is a really great way of being able to do the work once, i.e. create this app, 
and then you'll never have to worry about that again because all of that is taken care of. All you've got to do is just send out those emails um, inside that kind of newsletter campaign. So there we have it. That is the very simple, very straightforward, but very effective way that we have been able to increase the number of calls that we get booked onto our calendar purely through cold email by 25%. So build this into your business, build this into your agency, and I promise you, you will see an increase in the number of booked appointments. Now, if you've got value from this video, as I said, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button. And if you want our help to put more sales calls on your calendar, to sign more clients, to grow your agency and grow your impact, then click the first link in the description. It will take you to a quick video explaining exactly how we can help. And you can book on a call with either myself or one of the team members and we'll explain exactly how we can help. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.